Some designers, like Asa Ashuk, are taking this a step further and encouraging hacking at an early design stage before the product is even made. This new digital forming software enables a non-designer like me to personalize Asa's products, in this case, a lamp. I can change the color, the height, and even adapt the fin design and overall shape. As a designer, why would you want someone else meddling in your designs? Product designers design products and objects for people to use. And for me, it was always very important to have element of interactivity. So I'm always looking for opening a door to the user, you know? But do you feel that you're sort of relinquishing power? Because, you know, we've been brought up on the of the big designer, the designer that designs these amazing objects, and you're basically giving power to the consumer, aren't you? Yes, it's true, but I see that uh, actually as empowering the designer to empower the user. The technology enables the designer to add another layer on top of the design product. It's the design experience. So users at home, when they play, and co-design, they will say, oh, this is a nice experience. So the experience will become part of the design. What happens if, when you're co-designing something if the co-designer creates something that you don't like? This is a difficult point because sometimes it's, it's horrible, you know, really horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I want to make sure that all the variations are almost like 80% approved by me, then I'm giving less freedom to the users, so I'm constraining the experience to such a level that it will always come out well. I see the user as a partner, uh, so there's a partnership, you know? It's time for the moment of truth. What will Asa think of my co-design? There it is. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what do you think? Don't be too harsh. No, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> I really think it's nice. Quite nice. I find it really interesting because you start to think about things really quite a lot, and probably yeah. more than you would do maybe in a shop. And you're questioning your kind of judgment yeah. again, over yeah. and over again. It's and I like that. You there know? are some big decisions to make. Yeah, yeah. I guess you do in a way become, in part, a designer. I guess that's what a designer does. But you start to make associations and you think about things and you think about is, yeah. the look of it all the time. Yeah, I think it's also about giving some of the designing joy to the user. I'm not quite sure about the base now that I've seen it like this. Hacking is liberating design. It's no longer about star designers handing us products that we have to accept. It's a partnership, a collaboration, and the implications are enormous.